Hey, James. Hey, Tangie. How y'all doing? Hey, Sean. Hey there, P B P P A. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Awesome, awesome. Thanks for checking in. I'll wait another minute or two and uh, see if anybody chimes in. I want to just share a couple of little nuggets before I go to bed. Amen. Hope you've had a great day. All right. Woo! -woo! Amen. 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 I am so thankful for you all um, clicking on tonight. I know it's super late. And um, I have been hustling all day. I put up a post earlier today sharing that I needed to take down all of these Christmas decorations. And I was dreading it just a little bit because that means I have to go all around the place here, take everything down. I have to go into the storage outside, pull out the big old Christmas bins that I keep everything in, rearrange some things in the storage just to get to the bins in the first place, drag the bins inside. Oh my God, there is so much that is involved in this once a year uh, occasion of putting up Christmas decorations and then also having to take them down. But I just made my mind up, I can do this thing. And so I began the process of dismantling everything that I had so carefully put up last month in December for the Christmas holiday. All right. Now, check this out. While I was working on this project, of course, there's a lot of cleaning that goes on also. I've got to sweep as I go all the Christmas tree pines that are falling. I've got to get the glitter out of the way. There's just so much involved, right? Now, I don't want to bore you with all those details, but as I was working, I was reordering furniture. You know, when you decorate for Christmas, sometimes you find yourself, like me that is, moving this chair over here, moving this plant stand over here, making space for the Christmas tree and all of the trappings that go with it and all of that. And so... As I was working, you guys, God was talking to me. And that's nothing unusual because anytime I'm cleaning, a lot of times as well, especially when I'm driving, God lays some serious stuff on me. And so all day I've been working with this process, right? And the Lord began to, to talk to me and I was thanking him for, you know, just entering into this brand new year, 2019, woohoo, super excited about being in 2019, 2018 is far behind us now and so grateful for it. But the more I worked and the more you guys that I began to reflect and be thankful for 2019, the Holy Spirit kept saying to me periodically, 12. And the more I, you know, try to ponder that thing, 12, what's up with the 12? And I would think 19. You know, there's so much hype going on now about the number, the significance of the number 19. And we know it's a powerful number that means uh, just that great things are breaking off, taking place. We're being motivated to go to another level like never before. And God kept bringing the number 12 to me. And so as I got quiet and I got still the whole while I'm working, putting things in order, all of a sudden it hit me like a light bulb. What God was trying to tell me about the number 12. And I said, Oh my goodness, you guys, I saw in my mind's eye 2019. And then I saw like a math equation, okay? 
2 plus 0 plus 1 plus 9 equals 12. <sighs> Did you get that? Picture 2019, okay? Because I need you to go with me right here. 2 plus 0 plus 1 plus 9 equals 12. That's what God was trying to tell me all day long as I was in here working, getting things restructured and back in order. And I began to look and think and ponder. I even checked out a couple of things, right? Because I like to ha, be in order. 12 is a powerful number in scripture. We all know that, right? Then the, 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 uh, commentaries, the, the, the studies show that the number 12 is actually utilized in scripture 187 times. That means that number 12 is a mighty powerful number. And as we know, it's a number similar to the number 19. It's a number of order, it's a number of completion. It is a number of divine governmental ruling. The 12 is all throughout the Bible. In the Old Testament, there were 12 tribes of Israel. In the New Testament, it gets really, really uh, super interesting because Jesus is on the scene and we know that he was 12 years old when he began teaching in the synagogue. Uh, there were 12 men who were specifically picked out and hand chosen to be disciples who later became the apostles. Oh God, this is good to me. This has been like burning in me all day as I've been working and doing. God has been speaking and I just... Uh, uh, felt led to just jump on here for a few minutes and share this with somebody tonight, tonight, tonight. In the natural, 12 is a powerful number. It's a very significant number. There are 12 months in the calendar year. You know, there are 12 months and broke, break, break that down. There's like four different seasons on the natural calendar. You know, God is saying to me, even right now, that that four season thing, we need to let that stay in the natural because in the spiritual realm, you don't have just four seasons. Four seasons would be a limitation for you, but God says that every season is your season because he's with you in each and every season. I was in the kitchen taking a break earlier from all of my cleaning up and getting uh put putting the Christmas decorations away and reordering the furniture in the house and all this kind of stuff. I went to go take a little break because I got hungry, okay? I pulled out 12 dozen of eggs. <laughs> oh my God. And the Lord was like illuminating the carton of eggs in my hand as I was stirring you know, at the stove. God wants to do something powerful for some people this year. We already know that. But he said to me once again that 12 is a divine number. It is a number of ruling. It is a number, oh God, of perfecting. God says, in fact, I wrote it down. First Peter 5 and 10 say, but may the God of all grace, who called us to his eternal glory by Christ Jesus, after. That is a powerful word. After. Ah, I don't know about you, but I feel like I'm in my after. Because I can, I can write a book, baby. And I know you can write one too. On all the things that you've been walking through. But God, the word says here, but after you have suffered a while, he will perfect. There's that word, perfect, perfect. He will perfect, establish, strengthen, and settle you. All of those things sound like a number 12 to me. And I don't know about you, but I'm excited. I am super, super hyped. I am super excited. I feel something blazing and burning on the inside of me. And it's got to be like that fire that Jeremiah said is shut up in his bones. When I think, oh gosh, 
If I just look ahead and I believe what I know I believe is coming down the pipes, oh God, that is going to come by the sheer mercies of God in this divine year that we're in. The year of 2019. And if you break the 19 up. Because see how that came to me. As I said a little bit before. God told me look deeper. Don't stop at what you immediately see. About 19. It's powerful. But there's some more. That I want you to see. And so he took me further. Into that 19. As a math equation. 2 plus 0 plus 1 plus 9. Equals 12. This is the year. Where God is going to perfect, he's going to establish some things that are concerning you. That thing that was an enemy to you last year, can I tell you that it shall be an enemy no more. You won't have to see it no more. You're not going to have to contend with it. It is going to, it's under your feet. I'm not going to say it's going to be. It is under your feet. All you've got to do is stand up on it. Stand up on it and believe. Okay? Now, that's all that I feel led to share at this moment. That's it. But God, and I, and when God told me, you know, I felt this pushing to Facebook Live. Uh, I'm not up here that often, and I, I, but I felt a pushing to Facebook Live. And, and, and before I felt the pushing, you guys, I was about to go to my desk because every time the Lord starts loading or downloading things like this into my spirit, I feel that there's a, a ministry assignment that's coming up and I want to start capturing things so I can be prepared. And, you preachers out there who might be checking this out, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But God said, this ain't for later. This is for right now. I said, right now? He said, right now. So that tells me that God had somebody, somebody, whether you're on here right now or you may click by tomorrow or the day after, there's a nugget just for you. Don't you miss it. Order your private world and do it now. Order your private world. The things that nobody can't see, like what was in my storage out there. Nobody can see that unless I open up the door and grant access. God says that he wants you to be ordered. Number 12, divine number of order, governmental ruling, a perfect number. He doesn't just want it to be a persona. He wants it to be the real true deal in the inside where only you and he can see. As you order your private world, he's going to make your outer world explode and use you to turn the world upside down. All right. All right. Get up in the morning. Go to church. Go to worship. Find a good place where they're teaching Jesus. Okay. I love you all much. Thank you for clicking in. Share this with somebody if you don't mind, okay? See you the next time. Rest well, beloved. Bye.